welcome back guys this is usman from a server mentor and in this video we are going to talk about how you can use aws ecs service to deploy your containerized application and services most people find it difficult for the first time so the purpose of this video is to guide the beginners and newbies that how they can leverage aws elastic container service or in short ecs service to deploy their docker containers First of all, let me give you a very short introduction of ECS service. ECS is a fully managed container orchestration service that lets you easily run, scale and manage Docker containers in the cloud. It takes away the heavy lifting of managing servers so you can focus on your applications. Whether you are running on EC2 instances or AWS serverless Fargate, ECS provides a secure, efficient environment for your containers. So enough intro, let's get straight into the deployment of containers on ECS. All right, here you can see that I have a very simple Node.js application that uh, is a simple hello world application and nothing fancy here. I've also written a Docker file here to containerize this application. It's using uh, Node uh, 18 or you can use any version you want because it's a very simple application depending upon your project, of course. Uh, so working directory is set, copy everything from this uh, from the application to working directory, then uh, we will run uh, npm install command to install all the libraries, then we will expose port number 3000 on which our application is running, and of course then uh, the command uh, to run the application. So we will open the terminal here and uh, now we try to package this application into a docker image for that we will use the command okay you can see that the image is building so we will wait for the moment so that the image is completely built. All right, now we need to push our image to AWS ECR and to push there, we need to follow some specific commands and those commands are listed by ECR itself. Go to AWS ECR. Here is my AWS console. I will search for ECR and click here. And I need to create a repository. It would be a private repository. If you're, uh, if you don't care about the privacy of your code, then you can also choose a public repository. So I will name it as hello world and no need to change anything else. Just click on the create button and you can see that one repository is created. Now to push our image into that repository we need to click on this view push commands button here okay now we need to first of all we need to log into our uh, AWS console from our command line and after that we will follow these commands uh, we will simply copy this command and run it on our terminal Ah, oh, sorry. First of all, we need to authenticate to our AWS account. And to do that, we need to enter this command here. My keys are already entered, so that's why it is reconfirming those. Yes, no need to change anything here. Oh, sorry. I need to change the region here, basically. This is good. This is also good, but this is not good. I need to change this region to the region that currently I'm in and to get that region I will simply go here and it's AP Southeast 1 all right so I need to type in that region here okay okay and now I need to click here again copy this command and paste it here
okay you can see the message login succeeded now we can proceed with the next commands okay docker build we have already built the image we can skip this command and now we need to copy this command and paste it here you can do whatever tag uh, you want to give to your uh, image so here latest is good for me I will simply hit enter and copy the next command here enter it here and all right so now it is pushing the image to a repository let's pause the video and wait till this process is finished and we will come back to verify that we will close this window and click on refresh button here and you can see that this image is imported okay now our image is imported now we need to simply deploy this image on ECS container using Amazon ECS here you can click here to open Amazon ECS console all right before creating a cluster we need to create a task definition here new task definition give it a name according to your application here it is hello world now here you have two options aws forget and amazon ecs instances if you want to manage your containers manually using ecs uh, servers then you can click on this option but if you want aws to manage the containers for you you can simply click on aws forget so as far as this tutorial is concerned we are going with aws forget choose any number of cpus and memory so because our application is very small so i am good with 0.2 gigs of ram task execution role is none okay this is also good no problems with that okay here is my container name hello world you can choose any container name of your choice here you will write the image URI of your image and to get that image URI we will go again to our ECR console and click on this image tag and here is the image URI you can copy this URI by clicking here and simply paste it here okay since our container is running on port 3000 here you can see that we have export port 3000 here and if you see the node.js file we have instructed our application to run on port 3000 we, so here we need to forward that port 3000 and if you have env file attached to your project as well you can link it here here you have two options you can simply add your a and v variables here in key value pairs or if you want to specify your own manually written a and v file you can simply click on this option and here you have option to link your s3 bucket name in which you have placed your dot env file unfortunately you have no other option to link the env file here other than to place it in s3 bucket and then to link with it okay since our project it does not uses any env file so we are good with that so this is log collection option uh, if you enable it it will collect the logs of your container in, in case you are hit with some error so you can troubleshoot it from here so no need to change any other options and click on create button All right, our task definition is created. Now we need to create the cluster. Click on clear cluster button. Test cluster, give it a name according to your choice and infrastructure would be the same that we have used for our task definition. Of course, it is serverless AWS forget. No need to change any other options and straight away hit on create button. okay now this will take some time maybe three to four minutes we will pause our video and we'll come back once it is created 
all right here you can see that cluster is created successfully and now we need to go inside that cluster and we need to create a service here Uh, click on the launch type and choose target okay no need to change any other options family hello world the revision one is okay give you the service name hello world service now here you will specify your desired number of tasks i mean if you want to run one or more than one task this is crucial for load balancing if you are uh, going to load balance your application then you will specify uh, of course the the minimum number of tasks that you want that uh, needs to be run all the time uh, and after that we will expand this networking window we will choose your vpc here if you have created any specialized VPC for your application but we are good with default here no problems with that and subnets are also linked with that VPC already and uh, here you can specify any security groups if you want I need to create a security group here and uh, open port number 3000 there its name would be hello world security group and port would be 3000 and source would be anywhere we want to access our application from anywhere these are the simple security group rules i hope you are familiar enough with the security group rules otherwise i will make a separate video for security groups so that you can better understand uh, what this all means but for the time being no need to go into those details let's go straight forward with the application deployment if you want to introduce load balancer you will simply click on here load balance and application load balancer and will create the load balancer otherwise no need to expand that option as well but if you are using a load balancer then you also have to expand this option service auto scaling and click on this and then you will need to specify the minimum number of tasks that you want to run all the time and maximum number of tasks that your load balancer can run on demand okay if you want to store the data of your container to some separate volume uh, and make it permanently stored so that whenever your container is destroyed your data is not deleted so you need to attach the volume here but in our case no need for that as well so we will simply continue with the create button okay now it will simply take some time here as well we will pause our video again and we'll come back once it is done all right here we can see that our service is deployed perfectly you can see the green indication here and to access that service we need to click on this service name here and then go to the task tab and after that click on this task definition uh, sorry not task definition but task id and inside it click on the networking tab here and here is the ip address which you can use to access the application click here to copy it and paste it into the browser and remember our port for accessing the application was defined as 3000 so when we hit enter you can see that hello world is printed in the browser so this is it guys i hope that you have learned that how we can deploy your containerized applications on aws ecs if you have any questions please do ask me in the comment section below or if you have any suggestions you can also give those in the comment section below for now we have to delete the stack that we have created and to delete it we first of all will delete the service running inside the cluster click on delete button here all right service is deleted now we need to delete the cluster as well to 
this would take a few seconds so let's wait for this process to finish first okay this is also has been deleted mm, task definition should also be deleted click here and deregister okay and okay now our entire stack has been removed from aws so we would not be built for any of the resources now it is safe to close this window now and one thing more we need to delete this image as well yeah click here click on delete button and boom okay guys i hope that you have liked this video if you do please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel for such videos consider sharing it so that others can also benefit from it we'll get back to you soon with a new video till then goodbye